Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be making a card using the Expressions in Ink designer series paper. I'm going to be using the stamp from the Artistically Inked stamp set which is all part of this suite of products and I'm going to be using the Scan and Cut to do something with the leaves not just necessarily fussy cutting. I'll show you what I mean, keep watching. And then I've used this biggest die here, which is from the Stitched So Sweetly dies, which I think have now retired, but you could use any shape. I mean, there are shapes in your scan and cut if you have one of those. I know people, uh, customers have bought this from me, so I know, you know, people will have this or any other shape that you want to use and I'm going to be trying to do a little trick with the scan and cut and the gold and rose gold 6x6 metallic speciality paper. So if you haven't seen this pack of paper it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be doing a few videos kind of showcasing this paper where the paper is more on show than necessarily the stamp set so it's all double-sided and one side of this paper has got gold running through it and one side is a flat uh, color so this is say side b if you like this is the flat color and when you turn it over this is gold and white stripes then this one is beautiful pale papaya i think this is magenta madness and gold and that's the other side of it, all um, shades of green. This one I've used in the past in a previous video, pink and gold, and then the flat colour on the other side. As you can see, I've been chopping into this, so they're not all full 12 by 12 sheets. Again, this is pattern paper, but all flat. And then this is the reverse side of this with the greens and the gold running through it. You get two sheets of every design. Again, this one's got the gold running through it, different uh, shades of green, and then the flat colour, and then this one's the pale papaya with the gold accents, and that's the reverse side. So, let me just put this away. So to save some time, I've got a lot of the elements cut already, but I am going to be doing some stamping, and I am going to be using the scan and cut. So I have got a piece of Magenta Madness, which is half an A4 sheet of paper scored and folded because this is Magenta Madness that is in the designer series paper. I've got a piece of white cardstock, which is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And this is going to be for the inside of the card. I've got another piece of basic white cardstock, sorry I'm not sure whether I said whisper white, it's basic white now and this is basic white regular. I use the regular cardstock for stamping and layering and I use the thick white cardstock as my base cards. So again this is regular, cut at the same size three and seven eighths by five and five eighths and that's going to be the layer on the front of my card. Then I've got a piece of the beautiful designer series paper with the gold foiling running through it. This one I've cut at three and five eighths by five and three eighths, and that's going to layer up on there. So I'll do that first, and then that just gets that done out of the way. Okay, then I've got a piece of pink metallic ribbon. Now this is no longer available, but I've got quite a bit of it, so I want to use it. But you could use this gold metallic ribbon, which I'm going to be using on another card, um, using this designer series paper in the next video. And then there are other ribbons and twines in the annual catalogue and then when the new holiday catalogue comes out on the 3rd of August there are some new ribbons in there as well but for this one I'm just going to tie this round and I'm going to tie it in a bow 
so I'm just going to trim the tails on this ribbon and these are our paper snips or small snips and they're very sharp all the way to the point I can't remember how much they are maybe seven or nine pounds but really really sharp got this you know great little protective cover to keep on them and if you sew I would definitely get a pair of these for keeping with your sewing machine because they really are nice and sharp I will list everything I've used that is still available directly underneath the YouTube video and in the accompanying blog post and there will be direct links taking you straight to my online stamping up shop so that's what we've got so far and then as I said I've already uh, die cut the stitched label so I've got a piece of scrap I'm going to bring in some magenta madness and just some basic black ink okay so I'm using this pair of leaves I'm just going to stamp them just up in the top corner just in memento black and then I'm going to scan this through the machine but I'm not actually going to use these black leaves but you'll see what I am going to do in a few minutes so I'm just going to bring in my Simply Chamois if you don't know what this is again it will be listed below it's just a sponge you run it under the tap and soak it in water and then squeeze it out and then I keep mine in one of our little CD cases that you can buy again in my online shop it's just sometimes a little bit easier than getting your Simply Scrub out and your mist Right, so I'm going to bring in my scan and cut mat and I'm going to position this piece of card up in the top left hand corner. Then I'm going to bring in some of the gold metallic paper and I'm just going to get a piece that will be big enough to use in a little while. And now I'm going to scan this through the scan and cut machine. I'm going to load the mat into the machine. I'm going to do scan, direct cut, temporarily save the memory into the machine and start. Okay, so I'm going to drag in the drag handles and just isolate the leaves that I've just stamped in Memento Black and say OK and wait for the machine to recognise the outline. So I can see the outline there and that's fine. So I'm going to say OK. I'm not particularly bothered about having an offset for this because as I say, I'm not actually going to use this stamped image. So I'm just going to say OK. I'm going to go to select and cut. Now, before I actually start cutting, I'm going to remove this piece of white card and I'm going to position a piece of my gold metallic speciality paper up in the top left hand corner where the white piece was. Now I'm going to come back to the screen and I'm going to press start. Okay, and that's finished. So I'm going to say okay, and then because I've not actually cut this speciality paper or cardstock, cardstock with my scan and cut before, before I remove the mat, I'm just going to hold onto the top of the design and the paper and I'm just going to lift it up and just make sure that it has cut through and I can see that it has. So now I'm going to unload the mat. And I'm going to remove this from the mat and I've now got my pair of leaves 
that I originally stamped in black but I've replaced by the metallic gold paper and because I didn't apply any outline at all because I didn't really need to because it's not the stamped image I'm using it's just cut it exactly the right size so that's going to be my leaves now I'm going to use this same piece of scrap paper and then this time I'm not using magenta madness I think I said magenta madness I'm going to use polished pink which is one of our new colors which will also go with this paper I'm going to put my leaves away and pick the small flower and then I'm just going to stamp this onto this piece of whisper white cardstock So again, I'm just going to quickly clean the stamp while everything is handy. So I'm going to bring in my mat and then position this cardstock on the mat. And then I'm going to do a direct scan again. And then this time I am going to add an outline because I am going to use this on the front of my card. So I'm going to load the mat into the scan and cut machine. I'm going to hit the home button and say yes it's okay to delete the previous pattern and I'm going to do scan, direct cut, save the memory into the machine and start. So again, I'm just going to drag in the handles and isolate the pink flower. I'm going to say, OK, wait for it to recognise. There it is. I'm going to say, OK, and then this time I am going to add my usual 0 0.04 offset, which is what I prefer. You don't have to do that. You can cut it directly on the line if you want, like I've just shown you how to do with the black leaves that are stamped, I'm going to say OK, select and cut and start. So I'm going to say OK because that's finished now. Hit the home button and unload my mat. So there is my stamped element. So let's bring everything in. So this is what we've got so far. This is going to all sit on the front of this Magenta Madness card. So I'm going to put this die cut shape and then I'm going to put the leaves and then I might just stamp my greeting on the bottom here. So I'll do that before I assemble anything. So again, I'm going to bring in the stamp set and this hello best wishes, thanks and happy birthday. So I think for this one, I'll use hello. So I'll put the flower away, find the hello, and then I think I'm going to stamp it near the bottom and I'll do it in the polished pink so it matches the flower. clean off 
my stamp and then also in this set are these little dots kind of like filler dots so I'm just going to pop those onto the block and again I'm going to use the magenta madness but what I am going to do is I'm going to stamp off and then just stamp them around just to kind of fill in the white space So this is going to go on here, not quite sure how, might put it that way because I've got the bow on the left. So I'm going to pop this up on some dimensionals and I'm just going to pop them at the top and the bottom and that way they'll kind of straddle over this ribbon which I am just going to move up ever so slightly like so and this this suite is beautiful it's the first thing that jumped out at me when I looked at the catalogue so I'm going to position that like so and then just work out where my leaves are going to go. I think I'm going to put them something like that. So I'm going to pop this one up on a dimensional and I'm just going to pop the dimensional in the middle of the flower and pop that on and then I'm going to tuck my leaves in like so and I'm just going to stick these down flat. So I'm just going to bring in my silicone mat and I'm just going to use some of our Seal Plus, which is our really, really strong adhesive. So I've got a little bit overlapping there. So I'm going to tuck that in behind like that. And then now this is going to go on the front. And our Seal Plus is very, very sticky. But I do find that if you press too hard, it will sometimes try and pick your paper up. So that's going to go on the front like so. So I'm just going to turn that over and rub it down from the back. And then... I've got a piece of white cardstock which I've lost already which is going to be for the inside just to kind of tie it all in clean off this stamp and bring in my flower again and I'll just do a little bit of stamping on the inside and I think what I'll do I'm just going to ink it up in the polish pink stamp off and then just stamp in the bottom corner that's going to go on the inside like so so there it is so showcasing the designer series paper and using 
some inks to match and you know you could if you've got the dies you can cut the leaves out yourself in this speciality paper I've not got the dies so I was just using my scan and cut so I've used my scan and cut to do a direct cut on the stamped flower and then I stamped the leaves just in black scanned them and then just swapped out the paper for the gold and I was able to you know die cut then my own leaves and then when you open it up you've got somewhere to write and you've got just a little bit of detail in the bottom corner so that's using the artistically inked stamp set and the expressions in ink designer series paper so i hope you like the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so i am still trying to get to 50,000 subscribers it doesn't cost you anything it just lets you know when i upload a video or when i go live and then i'll see you in the next video where i'm going to be making another card using a different pattern from this set of designer series paper so thanks very much and i'll see you again soon